What's up everybody? This is Mondo, AKA Major League Shooter. Today we're here in Little Havana, a place well known for some of its filming locations. You've had movies like Scarface, Fast and the Furious have both been made here. And today I'm gonna to take you on an adventure a little bit just to show you guys some of the Cuban culture that surrounds this place. And uh, just show you how nice this place really is here in Miami. So I hope you guys are ready for the adventure. We're gonna go out, do some street POV photography, and we're gonna go from there. So today we are shooting with my Sony a7 IV. We're gonna be paired up with a Sigma 2472A aperture, coupled up with a Peter McKinnon probe mist filter. This is the two to five variant. So really quick, right off the rip, got some really nice colors here. We're gonna go ahead, let me just see what this looks like. All right. So right here, we have a really cool mural. Gonna go ahead and capture a really cool picture of that. We got La Bandera Cubana, of course, and then we have a Cuban flag up there. I kind of wish I had a 70 to 200, but I'm not there yet. By the way, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, PRT Lampert. This dude's really inspired me to come out here and start doing some POV photography, so. Fire right here coming up has a lot of soul to it. Cuando yo más lo presentía trying to grab a quick shot it's always cool man just to see the uh the cuban culture just all bundled up and living life how they would you know the only thing missing that scenario cafecito guys if you guys ever come to miami there's two words you're gonna hear the most number one cafecitos Ooh, nice go ahead brother so yeah, it's two words you're gonna hear all the time, man. It's gonna be cafecitos and croquetas. Those are the two, mo the two most common words. Just wanna grab a quick shot of the bartender. One of the things I like about uh, Calle Ultra is you're gonna have these really vibrant colors. And uh, it reminds me a lot of Cuba, man. Like, I don't know what it is about Cuba, but a lot of the places that they have other than, you know, uh, let's say La Habana Vieja, you have a lot of bold color houses and that's, you know, something that's really common and popular amongst the Cuban community is, if you know about Cuba, is the old cars. And uh, a lot of that has to do with the embargo that happened in Cuba. But uh, yeah, one thing you always find in Cuba, man, is always gonna be some classic cars. It's kind of like they're stuck in the, uh, <laughs> They're stuck in the grease stains without the leather jackets. All right, see what that looks like. Oh man, that's a cool shot. Love it. Permiso. Una pregunta. Yo soy fotógrafo. ¿Me permitieras tomarte una foto? Está bien. ¿Eh? No, si yo no tengo billete tampoco. I was like, yo, can I take a picture? He's like, nah, there's cash. I ain't got no cash, man. I'm, I'm broke. <laughs>
Probably should have got a candy shot of that old guy with the cigar in his photo on the photo. See, she's cool. She's rolling up a cigar. That's cool, man. You could definitely find people rolling up cigars out here. And that's awesome. It's very Cuban. I'm telling you, man, Calle Ultra is the place you go when you want. No, gracias a la dieta. That lady just offered me uh, mangoes, and I was like, no, I'm okay. I'm, I'm on a diet. But uh, trust me, I should be on a diet. Here we go. We have one of Cuba's most famous people, which I think, unfortunately, they, uh... Damn, they did Celia Cruz dirty with that one, man. But yeah, that's Celia Cruz. Super, uh, super wonderful woman of Cuba. And very, very renowned artist in the salsa community. Let's hear the, uh, the thunder in the background. I'm going to go ahead and end out the video here. If you guys enjoy this little POV walk around Calle Ocho, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the area, if you like it. If maybe you guys would ever come out here, I highly encourage you to come see some Calle Ocho.